Hi, this is Randy from Friday's Golf, and welcome to another edition of Over Easy. Uh, we had an amazing Ryder Cup, and I do want to talk about that here in just a second. But first, I want to say uh, I want to have Scuba Steve on an Over Easy episode, and I want you guys to ask Scuba Steve questions. If you don't know who Scuba Steve is, he's my father. Check out some of the videos with him in it, and you'll understand why I am very excited to have him sitting next to me and you guys asking him questions. I don't want to be a part of answering those questions, so if they're technical questions, I mean, I guess you can ask them, but know that he's going to answer them. So write in the comment section below every single question you have for Scuba Steve. Whatever it is, I don't really mind. I mean, I guess it would help if it was golf related since this is a golf YouTube channel, but I'm not even going to draw the line there. So anything you have to ask uh, my dad, who's not sitting next to me, I don't know why I'm pointing like that. Uh, anything that you want to ask Scuba Steve, put it in the comment section below, and I will have him sit down and painfully answer every single question that you guys have. So I hope to see a bunch down there, and I want to get uh, to that, uh, if not next week, the week after, and, and make that a full over easy episode, just scoop Steve. So let's get to the Ryder Cup. Uh, it was very exciting. One of the most amazing Ryder Cups that I can ever remember watching. Uh, it was uh, exhilarating. It was uh, every bit of the hype, you know, that it was built up to be. And uh, I imagine this is what Europe feels like, like all the other times. So it, it was very cool. It was fun. Uh, Let's just, I know that every sports broadcaster on planet Earth was talking about McElroy Reed and Mickelson and Garcia and, and all the other uh, guys that just, it just, it, it's just so much. It was so much, so many awesome things that happened during this Ryder Cup. It's hard to really recap them all in just a, a short video like this. So I'm not going to bore you because you've probably all seen them all, but uh, I will say this it blows my mind how these guys handle pressure. And especially the European players, because obviously they're playing under conditions in which are not favorable to them. They have people yelling obscene things to them while they're while they're playing, and, and just being overall, you know, just kind of giving them a little bit of the business. I can't believe how, with all that pressure, they can still perform the the, the way they do. I mean, if I was out and like you know, just somebody was just like, "You suck," I'd be like, "Oh, I suck." Like, I, I wouldn't be able to play the rest of the day. But it, the, the way they performed, especially Reed and McElroy, when they just kept answering one another on Sunday there, where uh, for the first eight holes, it was just like nothing I'd ever seen. Uh, and I don't think what, I mean, probably one of the greatest moments in Ryder Cup history will go down is when McElroy drains the 60-foot putt, and then Reed steps up and drains his, you know, 25, 30-footer to right on top of him, and they're both just taunting one another, but then they leave the green, you know, patting each other on the back like, you know, we are killing it right now. So it, it was fun. It was amazing. I had a great time. I'm done talking about it. What I do want to talk about is, uh, briefly, is an article written by P.J. Willett. Now, if you don't know who P.J. Willett is, he's the brother of Danny Willett who was a 2016 Masters champion, kind of a big deal. Uh, he wrote an article on the Ryder Cup before the Ryder Cup began, and it actually got a lot of attention, uh, mostly negative, which, as I started to read some of the feedback and the comments and the things people were saying about it and saying to him, I was just kind of like, what are people not getting here? And then I realized, I was like, it's America. Like, Ryder Cup draws the line. It says this is the United States versus Europe. And when you have a European man saying, you know, negative things about American fans, they just wanted to jump down his throat about it. They wanted to puff up their chest and say, this is America. And, and really just give him a hard time. If you knew anything, and I literally mean anything about P.J. Willett, I have no idea who the man is. I've never met him before in my life. But I do read a lot of his articles. I follow him on Twitter. And I think he's hysterical. He's so funny, and I don't think that people that read this article, they, they got it passed along to them more in the context of like, look at what this European guy said about uh, the American Ryder Cup. And it's like, you had to know who he was to understand that that article is just doused in satire and, and sarcasm, and it just he uses a lot of metaphor to talk about the European players and comparing them uh, you know, to students in his class. I mean, in no way was this meant to be taken, taken seriously to the point where you read a piece of it during the broadcast of the Ryder Cup. And of course they picked the worst part where he's calling American fans like fat, greasy pigs. 
but it's so far removed from what he was saying that it reads like he he's anti-American. And what he was really doing was just making fun. And he, he was putting on his Ryder Cup fan coat, and he was saying, hey, American fans are annoying. And he wasn't saying all of them. He was saying the people that yell mashed potatoes those few seconds after the balls hit in order to get their 15 seconds of fame. I hate those people. I think collectively, as golfers, everyone hates those people. Why? I mean, it's the most annoying thing. It was cool, like, 20 years ago, the first time. And, and even then, it was just more confusing than cool. It was like, what did that guy just say French fries for? But he writes and says, you know, this is the only way they're going to win. And, and, and it just was really in your face. And people that did read it and took it way too seriously, I think, were just personally hurt uh, their patriotism was you know challenged and they felt the need to retaliate and be mean but the dude's hilarious he's funny i suggest that you go read his other works and you'll I'd be like oh this is kind of how he writes and it's you know not meant to be serious so <laughs> check out uh, pj willa on twitter too i think he's one of the better follows on there he, he's funny give him a second chance and you'll see where I'm coming from. But it was cool to watch USA win. Uh, well, I think that about wraps it up. I, I was going to do some answering of questions, but once again, let me look here, see my comments here. I, I had like three or four kind of questions uh, asked, and I don't want to really try tackling them because I feel like I don't have enough to make it worth your while. Uh, also... If it looks like I'm about ready to do a backflip off a waterfall, I'm not. I'm just shooting on my GoPro because my stupid phone, I don't know where it's at, but my phone's battery is done. And if you've noticed, I haven't uploaded that consistently to the channel in the last couple weeks. And it's because I have five minutes of power on my phone while recording video to actually shoot anything. And it it makes it impossible to record video when you only have that little amount of time because my battery is shot. It's an iPhone and I, I, I can't stand that. I can't shoot video on it anymore because I, I had my external mic and everything. So this kind of sounds probably echoey because I have to use the onboard mic on the GoPro. So uh, I think I have to bite the bullet and actually buy a new camera and uh, an external mic. So that's got to happen fairly soon. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do any more videos more than five minutes long and now on the GoPro. So, I think that about wraps it up. Thank you as always for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video. Go check out PJ Willett. He is funny. And if you don't think he is, that's your opinion. And you're entitled to that. So, thanks as always and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to write your questions for Scuba Steve. I really want to do this and I want you guys to to get your questions answered because I know you have lots of them because you ask me all the time questions about my dad and I just thought well rather than me answer them you guys should uh, hear it straight from the horse's mouth so I will see you guys next time see ya mm -hmm.